Have you ever thought about how a momentary lapse in judgment can lead to a catastrophe? Imagine this scenario unfolding on the set of a movie. It's October 2021 on the set of the film, Rust. The atmosphere shifts from creativity to chaos when cinematographer Halina Hutchins is fatally shot by a live round of ammunition from a prop gun held by actor Alec Baldwin. A tragic accident that spiraled into a legal battle. Among those implicated, Hannah Gutierrez-Reed, the weapons supervisor on the set, was charged with involuntary manslaughter. Found guilty last month, Gutierrez-Reed has been held in a Santa Fe prison ever since, and just today was sentenced to the maximum possible term of 18 months. The incident raised questions about safety protocols on film sets, and who bears responsibility when things go horribly wrong. So, what led to this tragic event, and who did the court hold accountable? Let's delve into the trial of Hannah Gutierrez-Reed, the armorer on the set of Rust. The courtroom was a whirlpool of arguments, evidence, and testimonies, all centered around the fatal shooting of Helena Hutchins. The prosecutor's case hinged on the accusation that Gutierrez-Reed brought live ammunition to the set and failed to follow basic safety guidelines. They painted a picture of an armorer who was reckless and negligent, with special prosecutor Kari Morrissey even pointing out that Gutierrez-Reed failed to show appropriate remorse during the trial, saying that she continues to refuse to accept responsibility for her role in the death of Helena Hutchins. On the other side of the courtroom, Gutierrez-Reed's defense told a different story. They argued that despite the tragic outcome, Gutierrez-Reed was a professional doing her best under challenging circumstances. She herself stated that she tried her best despite not having the proper time, resources, and staffing. The defense also brought up an interesting point. They argued that some blame should be shifted onto Alec Baldwin for allegedly going off script. Gutierrez-Reed's attorney Jason Bowles stated, what caused her to pass was Mr. Baldwin going off script and pointing the weapon. The courtroom was tense, the arguments on both sides compelling. As the jury retired to deliberate, the world waited with bated breath. After careful consideration, the jury returned with their verdict. They found Gutierrez Reed guilty of involuntary manslaughter. The judge then handed down the sentence. It was the maximum possible. 18 months in prison. The jury deliberated and found Gutierrez Reed guilty of involuntary manslaughter, leading to a sentence of 18 months in prison, the maximum possible sentence. But the story doesn't end with Gutierrez Reed's conviction. This tragic incident has sent shockwaves through the film industry, sparking serious discussions about safety protocols on film sets. It has shed light on the importance of meticulous handling of props, especially firearms, and the need for comprehensive safety measures to prevent such incidents in the future. In the midst of these discussions another significant event looms on the horizon. Alec Baldwin's trial. Baldwin, who was holding the prop gun when it discharged, faces charges of involuntary manslaughter. The potential consequences are severe. If convicted, he could face up to 18 months in prison, mirroring the sentence handed down to Gutierrez Reed. This upcoming trial not only underscores the gravity of the situation but also raises further questions about responsibility and accountability in such tragic circumstances. Who holds the ultimate responsibility when a prop gun discharges on a film set? Is it solely the armorer or does it extend to others involved in the handling of the weapon? As Baldwin's trial approaches the incident serves as a sobering reminder of the importance of safety in all aspects of film production. In the wake of this tragic event, what are the key takeaways? The fatal shooting on the set of Rust was a devastating incident that shook the film industry to its core. The trial of Hannah Gutierrez-Reed, the armorer, resulted in her conviction for involuntary manslaughter and an 18-month prison sentence. The jury found that she was responsible for bringing live ammunition to the set and failing to follow basic safety protocols. Her defense that she lacked the proper time, resources, and staffing did not absolve her of her responsibilities. Alec Baldwin, who held the prop gun that ended cinematographer Helena Hutchins' life, is set to face his trial in July. The charges against him were dropped once but refiled, adding another layer of complexity to this tragic tale. This unfortunate incident has amplified ongoing discussions about safety standards in the film industry and the grave consequences of their neglect. As the repercussions of this tragic incident continue to unfold, the film industry, and indeed all of us, are left to ponder the implications of safety, accountability, and the human cost of negligence.